am LaMarsha Lewis. Let's talk. Today is Monday, March the 7th, 2022. I hope you have had a marvelous weekend. Uh, I had a pretty awesome weekend. Reason being, I really didn't do anything. I relaxed this weekend. That was not my intention. Uh, I had said on Friday when I left work that I was going to uh, get some commentary out. I've already made some videos. I just haven't had the opportunity to actually go through and listen to them, kind of make sure everything is okay, and also make sure... Um, the write-up information is accurate and, and all of that. So it was my plan to do that. However, <laughs> it didn't work out. I just had a relaxing weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Today was a full day of work. So I'm going to try and at least give you a couple of commentaries tonight. Uh, the first one we're going to do, we're going to talk about Kim Kardashian. I guess I'll leave it at Kim Kardashian because it has been announced that she did get granted to become legally declared single, although she is still legally married. A judge did declare that she is um, legally uh, single. And we, that has been buzzing, of course, on the in, in these internet streets, uh, social media, Twitter, Facebook, any, the internet at large. Kim Kardashian drops uh, West from her name. Also talking about uh, Kanye seems to have a lookalike, supposedly, that he's now has been spotted with. And, and of course, uh, supposedly Kim is still with her boyfriend, Pete Davidson. And I have to say this. I just found, I'm like, what could she really see in Pete Davidson? Of course, you know, that's at her own discretion. I'm, I'm just trying to see, like, I just don't see what she could see in Pete Davis. Kim is 41. I think Pete is, like, in his late 20s, 28, if I make no mistake, 28, 29, something like that. So, I think this is just probably just for theater or just something she's going, and it's not, I heard D.L. Hughley said, we're going to talk about him as well. Her D.L. Hughley said, Pete basically just having fun. Something that strike me kind of strange, I've heard Pete and of course, when I read things, they're saying that Pete is Kim's boyfriend. It's been said that Pete has said that um, Kim's his girlfriend. I'm like, but okay, she's his girlfriend, but she's still legally Kanye's wife. Make it make sense. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. I saw, uh, in this article that I'm going to read from um, page six, talking about uh, Kim becoming a uh, declared legal sing single, it says that... Uh, Kim kind of started seeing Pete back in October of 2021 last year. And every time you look up, it's something. Uh, uh, Pete and Kim goes for lunch. Pete and Kim gets ice cream. Just something that news media doing their job, keeping a story, uh, keeping at least Kim Kardashian and Pete. And between Kim and Pete and Kanye and his new Kim lookalike, I think her name is, let me see, what's that young lady's name? Excuse me. Ch Channing Jones is the new person Kanye has been seen with. And again, she does somewhat resemble um, Kim. But that's that. And um, I want to listen to something um, D.L. Hughley, Hughley said. He was uh, having a conversation uh, with DJ... Uh, Vlad from Vlad TV. I love listening to that. Uh, shout out to Vlad TV. Shout out to the one and only D.L. Hughley. Because what D.L. said, he, he had a interview which was several uh, segments. Of, they, they discussed various things. They talked about Bill Cosby. They talked about Joe Rogan who made the, um, said the N-word and all of that. Uh, and the Kim and Kanye. And I want us to listen to what DL said because I got like I said when I posted it on social media, DL Hughley he gets it. He he I think of all people actually gets this situation with Kim and um Kanye. Cause like he said, if it was his daughter, he would put a stop to the nonsense. And let me see if I can find that. Give me a second because I'll be having so much on my social media and, and in various places. Let's see, go 
to another source right quick again i hope everyone had an awesome uh weekend the weekend does seem to go by so quick and before we know it, it's back to the um work starting a new week of work And I am searching, y'all bear with me. I said D.L. Hughley gets it and said it perfectly in regards to the Kim and uh, Kanye. So let's listen. And I hope I have no issue with playing this. This was on Twitter. So we're going to listen to what D.L. Hughley had to say. I don't. I think that I've watched. Too it's, never been it's never been funny. It's never been funny. That's not on her house. Listen. I don't, I think that I've watched too many times where things like that happen and a woman or somebody's not believed and then things escalate. Yep. Tom, he is stalking her. You could think it's cute. If it was my daughter, I'd do something about it. I don't think it's funny. I think that you can't write a beat so good that you get to do these things. And society laughs it off because they say, well, she showed her ass all the time and he's this and he's that and that. At a certain point, it does it is not unusual for men like that. The only, the only difference between him and a restraining order is about 20 hits and a couple of hundred million dollars. I just don't think it's funny. I think that that, that Kanye wouldn't get no p at all if he didn't write no hits. You know that. Like, he's not the kind of dude. You don't, like, he counts on this, this mystique. Right. And in the end, she got just as much bread as she as she did. Yeah. And why talk to him? Pete Davidson is a scribe. Like, I don't get what the point is for threatening him. Like if, if you if you threatening to do this your woman, all he gonna do is her harder. And again, that was uh D. L. Hughley from his uh uh interview. Various like I say it was many different segments because they talked about so many different things and I do like uh Black Glad T V and I'm a huge fan of course of D. L. Hughley. He's one of the original kings of comedy along with Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer and of course um the late um Bernie Mad, so shout out to all those great, awesome comedians. But again, I do agree with what D.L. Hughley said, and I I have also have said this myself. This what Kanye has been doing that is pretty stalking and it's abuse. It's mental and emotional abuse. And on Valentine's Day, it was a show where he had a truckload of uh roses that say i i see crystal clear you can't like i said you can't bash her and then think you can just show up with roses it doesn't work like that and um again i don't understand but it's not necessarily for me to understand why kim is out here with pete davidson i just can't see her really having it being into him but again that's their business and um Again, I try not to do too much t conversation about these two people, Kanye and Kim, for the simple fact of four innocent kids. <coughs> Excuse me. Their oldest daughter, North, then their Saint, and then their Chicago, and the youngest son, um, Psalm. They have four four kids, two daughters, two, uh, two sons. They are the most innocent in this, and as many people have stated that there would be as they get older with north it's kind of out there anyway because i think she's about uh it tells us in here how old the children are but i know she's the uh she's the oldest north is their oldest it says north eight saint six chicago four chicago which just turned four in february because he made uh, kanye made a bit stink about the birthday party that kim and uh callie had for both uh stormy in chicago and some is two think about it the baby is two Kim had two children biologically herself, which is uh, North, 
who is their oldest. She was born in uh, June of 2013, and they got married in May of 2014. Basically, like right before North turned a year old, Kanye and Kim actually got married. And then a little later on, basically two years later, because it's 86, uh, Saint was born. And then Kim has had two other kids by Sarah. She's had, she's basically paid someone to care of the kids. And that's how we got Chicago and Saint. But these children are young, four and two years old, and your parents are divorcing. Then they're very well known. And both of them in two wrongs do not make a right because neither should be out here with other people with Kim nor Kanye because again, legally you are still married legally you are still husband and wife because you made a vow but uh new start uh this article from page six is from march the second it says kim kardashian declared legally single from kanye west <coughs> and we're going to kind of go over some of this it says Con kim kim kardashian has been declared legally single by from kanye west Los Angeles Superior Court Judge Steve Cochran ruled Wednesday. As a result of the ruling, the reality star will no longer go by Kim Kardashian West. She will only use her famous Kardashian surname from now on. Of course, uh, she dropped it off on Instagram and Twitter, all her social media platform. Like, like I said, that was a trending topic. Kim, Kim drops West from her name. I mean, we know how it works uh, in, in in social media and in just news media to anything for a story, basically. It says, Kardashian 41 appeared at the hearing via video conference from what looked like a closet and seemed happy despite the difficult subject matter. During the hearing, the judge asked Kardashian several questions under oath. When asked if she wanted to change her name from... The Keeping Up With Kardashians alumni replied, yes. Kardashian also responded yes when the judge asked if there was a breakdown in the marriage. After the judge read the questions and told her she now has her single status back, Kim smiled and insider told us. It says, West new attorney Samantha Spector, whom he hired at the last minute after firing his previous counsel within less than 24 hours of the hearing said her billionaire client had no issue with kardashian getting her name back but was more concerned with his ass his assets and interests specter said on the behalf of west that all the lights rapper 44 wanted to make sure his trust was protected kardashian's attorney laura wessler Objected to her client's trust, being frozen, arguing that, t that the TB reality, TB reality mogul uses the trust for her business. The judge sided with Kardashian's team on this issue. Spectre said West made issues boil down to protecting his retirement plan, and that he still wanted Kardashians to waive material, waive her material privilege. In the event that Kardashian were to remarry, which, of course, if Kim were to remarry after this divorce is uh, declared uh, legally uh, divorced, uh, it will be her fourth marriage. In the event Kardashian were to remarry, this would have granted West permission to call her new husband to testify about his communication with the reality star should there be any issues in the future. It says the pair share four children, North, St. Chicago, and some. Later in the hearing, the judge asked when both parties would like to return to discuss other matters. Spectre requested 120 days, saying she knows there is a lot of custody issues that needs to be worked out. I don't think so, Your Honor. What's the reply, which is Kim's uh, attorney? There hasn't been any issues in the past year. The judge went ahead and granted the 120 days Spectre requested. Both parties will be back for a status conference hearing on August the 5th. And of course, I'm, that would be August the 5th, 2022. 
It says regarding the issue of waiving material privilege, Kardashian attorney previously said in a court doc documents filed February, clearly Mr. West's goal here is to prevent or to make it difficult for Ms. Kardashian to remarry. The judge sided with the keeping up with the Kardashians alumni and denied West's request. However, lawyers on both sides were able to agree to rewrite the terms of the retirement agreement. It says Kardashian f first filed a request to become legally single in December of 2021 after filing for a divorce from West in February of 2021. After nearly seven years of marriage, the two share four kids, North 8, St. 6, Chicago 4, and Psalm 2. So, again, it's been a trending topic with Kim Kardashian has been declared legally single. Declare legally single. However, I think it's important to note she is still a married woman. And both parties need to be respectful of one another. They need to be respected for their children's sake. And again, most people don't take vows seriously as we are seeing both Kim and Kanye show us. Because, like I say, it's... Peter saying his girlfriend, but yet she's still Kanye's wife. Kanye's been out here with the new young lady, as I just stated, Shannon Jones, who I'm seeing uh, people re refer to her as a Kim lookalike. Two wrongs do not make a right. It's a lot of drama. It's going to be a lot of drama before it's all said and done, before it's completely played out. When, uh, uh, and with that being said, an actual divorce decree. Again, who I'm concerned for, my issue is that of those four innocent children. Because not one of them asked to come into this type of situation with famous people. Sometimes seem to be more concerned about themselves and trending than the four innocent lives they have brought into this world. I'm LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.